Chow and I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. As of now, I'm a global studies major and my travel experience includes, I've just been to um, Peru multiple times. That's where my family is. And then I speak English and Spanish and some of my hobbies or interests are, I like to crochet and do a bunch of arts and crafts and that kind of stuff. I'm gonna be talking about Peru. And so this is just a picture of the Peruvian flag. And then these are just some fun facts about Peru. So Peru, as we went over earlier, is in South America. Its capital is called Lima and their language is Spanish. Their religion is mainly Catholic or Christian. It's very hard to find other religions there and they have a population of about 32 million. And historically, Peru is a third world country, but it is now considered to be a developing country. And these are just pictures of where it's located. So on the left, you can see where it is um, in relation to South America. It's on the west near the Pacific Ocean. And on the right, you can just see the shape of Peru and the different cities. As you can see, there's Lima and then some more popular cities. You have like Cusco and they're just all there. <laughs> so these are just some famous landmarks that I wanted to go over with you guys. So um, Peru is mainly known for having one of the seven world wonders, Machu Picchu. So that's what you see a picture on the left. And then another landmark that not many people know about is that they have this rainbow mountain. So the different layers of the mountain have different colors and it's really pretty to see. And it's definitely a big tourist attraction in Peru. And then Peru has many different biodiversity. So while it has mountains, it also has deserts and it is also connected to the Amazon rainforest. So these pictures show um, just the sand dunes and the rivers in the Amazon. And these are just some of the um, most popular foods in Peru. So they're very big on meat and seafood since they're on the coast. So on the left, we have a traditional dish, it's called ceviche. And it's basically made by having a piece of fish, typically bass or tilapia. And it's marinated in lime juice and seasoned and has typically served with onions or like red peppers. And then on the bottom left of the first dish, it's have, um, it's this, um, thing called tostado. It's basically um, their corn. It's a different type of corn, but they basically just cook it till it gets like harder, like popcorn, but like the popcorn kernels in a way. And then they normally eat that with sweet potato. And then on the right, we have this dish, it's called lomo saltado. And it's basically typically made with beef, cilantro, tomatoes, and onions, and served with fries and rice. And this is I think the national dish of Peru. And then some more, they're big on meat. So we have their famous um, pollo a la brasa, which is just how they make and season their rotisserie chicken on the left. And that's typically served with fries. And then they have on the right, we have like my personal favorite dish. It's called anticuchos. And it's basically like the meat around the heart of the cow they use it and they eat it in like a kebab style with their type of corn it's called mote in the back of the dish and then with potatoes mm -hmm. and it's really good it sounds like a weird dish but it is really good and this is just their type of currency mm -hmm. so like in tunisia you can get a lot for just like one sol is what they use there. So one sol there is approximately 28 cents. And so normally I could be able to go like down the street to the store. And for a sol I could get like a bag of bread with like, I think like seven pieces of bread in it. So everything there is also really cheap. Um, people normally carry around coins or dollar bills. Something I found really interesting there is that they have like half a cent so instead of having like pennies, dimes, and nickels, they just have half a cent. So I thought that was pretty cool. And yeah.
And then for transportation, while they do have um, taxis, buses, and most people walk there, something I found really interesting is just how bad their traffic is. So like, as you can see in the picture, there's a bus that's just in the middle of two sides and that's exactly how it is in Peru. There's no order to their traffic system. It's just um, people are normally walking in the middle. Like on the left, you would normally see people walking in between the cars, crossing the street. So they don't have a lot of traffic laws and it's very chaotic, but they do have less accidents than in the US somehow. So that I thought that was really interesting. And then on the right, there's um, a bus that has like like two stories, which is really commonly used. So normally people sit at the top level of the bus. It's normally for tourist attractions, but it is really pretty and nice to be able to sit at the top of the bus and just ride around town.